Hi, it's Dr. Kim Marie, and I want to talk about solving problems. Um, and I always say we can't solve a problem in the energy it was created. And I say a lot of people agree with that. But let's put it to the test. So here's an example. Say somebody um, posts something that we consider negative on Facebook or something we don't agree with. Most likely, if they made that post, then that means that they are judging a situation. They're judging something. And it's a, it's a comment or a, a position that, uh, that they are resistant about something else, right? So we're in some kind of judgment. So then we see that post and we say, oh, well, they're negative. Or maybe they post on your thing a, a comment that doesn't make you feel good and then you feel um, attacked in some way okay so how do we solve that so the first thing that we think to do is to respond right is to respond back and then it's what do we say do we get argumentative do we give our point of view do we try to change their opinion what happens from there and that would be trying to solve the problem in the energy it was created it would mean that one person pulled up picked up the rope and we get to decide do we want to pick up the other end of that same rope which is the problem trying to solve it in the energy it was created so we so the key is not to pick up the rope right the key though not Okay, the other piece of it is, is one piece is don't pick up the rope, but also the piece that's going to shift you out of the problem completely is to shift the energy. And the only energy we can turn to is love. So it's like, I know that that may sound difficult and a little over the top, but sending love and light is claiming your power back. It's saying, that I'm, I'm not going to stay in judgment. I'm not going to stay in the energy that, that's a vibrational match, right? Why am I gonna get pulled into this argument in someone else's head? And I'm not gonna judge them for it because we all do it. So I'm gonna send them a love and light with no agenda. Because if I have the agenda to try to change them or to be the better person and all of that stuff, that's all ego. But just really sending love and light is gonna elevate you back up, right? And then possibly elevate that person and that situation, who knows? It definitely won't do anything negatively to them and it will definitely do a lot positively for you. So that is really how we put it into action, is to not engage. Don't worry about how to articulate the perfect words that's gonna make you sound more enlightened. No, that's keeping you in the problem. Rise above it, don't even have the argument, get yourself in love and light, and send it. That's my message for today. I love you lots. Have an amazing day. Mwah.